Magandang umaga, mga kapanig. Isang makabulang video na naman ang mapapanood natin ngayon kung saan ay viral at trending ngayon sa mundo ng social media ang diumani balitang Senator Manny Pacquiao muntik na diumanong magula matapos formal ng inimborso ang kandidatura ng Bongbong Marcos Sara na pinakamalaking political party ng Cebu Province na walang iba kundi ang Juan Cebu Senator Manny Pacquiao ay labis namang lumo sa nagpapatuloy na pag-angat ng kandidatong kanyang walang habas na sinisiraan pero bago na tinumpisahan ang lahat mga kapanig kung bago ka pa lamang sa aking channel ay mag-subscribe ka na at paki-click na rin ng notification bell para mas maging updated ka palalo sa lahat pa ng bagong videos na aming i-upload in a future at yun na nga mga kapanig viral at trending ngayon sa mundo ng social media ang diumani balitang formality ito na lamang daw diumano ang natitirang kulang upang maging ganap na ang pagkapangulo at ikalawang pangulo ng Republika ng Pilipinas ng tambala ng dating senador na si Bongbong Marcos at ang presidential daughter na walang iba kundi si Davao City Mayor Enday Sara Duterte Carpio. Ito nga ay ayon sa pahayag ng isang batikang political analyst. Ito nga ay matapos na formal ng iproklama ni si Boga Bermor Gwen Garzaya na ang nabanggi na leading political tandem ang kanilang magiging official na manok para sa darating na 2022 national election na naganap noong April 12, 2022, itinuturing ang sibo na may pinakamaraming butante sa buong bansa kung kaya't ay ganito na lamang ang pagkabahala ng nasabing senador sa nalalapit na pagkapanalo ng kandidatong walang humpay niyang binibira. Narito ang balita patungkol sa pag-indorso ng Juan Cebu sa nangungunang political tandem na walang iba kundi ang Bongbong Marcos Sara Unit in tandem good news again to Bongbong Marcos Sara Unitem but bad news to Robredo Camp one Cebu party headed by Cebu Governor Gwendolyn Garcia endorses Senator Bongbong Marcos and Mayor Enday Sara Duterte talaga tuloy-tuloy ang pag-ani ng suporta ng winning Bongbong Marcos Sara Unitem formality na lang ng kailangan election para maupo si na Bongbong Marcos Sara and quote sa naging official statement ng largest political party ng Cebu ay nilinaw nila na dumaan sa masusing konsultasyon ang kanilang naging decision na niniwala din sila na magkakaroon ng ganap na pagbabago kung makikiisa sila sa pamumuno ng Bongbong Marcos Sara na rito ang naging official statement ng Juan Cebu na siyang nagpasakit sa mata ni Sen. Manny Pacquiao Juan Cebu statement endorsing Bongbong Marcos Sara Juan Cebu Party has the honor of announcing its decision to endorse the presidential bed of former Sen. Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. the decision follow weeks of extensive consolations and discussion with provincial, municipal, and barangay leaders in the 44 municipalities and 7 cities including Mandawi City of the province of Cebu, we consider and differing opinions of party leaders advocating the causes of different presidential candidates and have determined that the unity in a strange of one Cebu, its ability to serve its constituents in the province of Cebu and ultimately the interests 
of the Cebuanos are best served if we unite behind the leadership of Bongbong Marcos as president and as we have earlier announced Mayor Sara Duterte as vice president, we shall formalize our endorsement at a general assembly of Juan Cebu to be held at the Sky Hall SM Seaside City, Cebu City. Today, at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, Gwendolyn F. Garcia and quote, papasalamat naman ang naging tugon ng kampo ng presidential frontrunner ano nga di umano kay Attorney B. Rodriguez, Chief of Staff at agapagsalita ng dating senador na si Bongbong Marcos ay hindi daw di umano lubos masukat ang kanilang kagalakan sa endorsement na nakuha nila mula sa mga Cebuano na nanawagan rin sila Atty. Big sa kanilang mga taga-suporta na manatiling mapagkumbaba sapagkat ito nangalang ang maghahatid sa atin sa tagumpay. Narito ang naging official statement ng Bongbong Marcos Cam on one si Bus endorsement were humbled by one si Bus party endorsement of Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. presidential bed. We are glad that one si party with chapters and 44 municipalities and 7 cities in the both rich province of Cebu finally joins hand with the Unitem Alliance for a shared vision that will guide and lead the nation in the goal to achieve sustainable growth and development of Cebu and the rest of the regions in the country, Juan Cebu's generous gesture is deeply appreciated beyond measure. Just endorsement also confirms that our call for national unity is taking root in the hearts of the vast majority of Filipino, as also shown by the consistent phenomenal presidential preference writing frontrunner Marcos Jr. is getting in all the respected and reputable survey firms in the country. We continue to urge all our supporters, campaigners, volunteers, organizers, and leaders to keep their feet on the ground despite the magnanimous affirmation the Bongbong Marcos Sara Unitem is receiving from all over the country without lead up for it is only through humility and vigilance we may deserve victory come election day not only shall we remain humble but we shall also remain alert until every Filipino has heard and realized that our message of unity is the crucial first step to heal recover and rebound from the damage that has inflicted on the nation. Furthermore, we submit to vigilance and vote protection as victory is achieved only the election day when every ballot has already been confirmed and counted. A statement of Attorney Beck Rodriguez, chef of staff and expert person of residential front runner Bongbong Marcos and quote ipinagdiinan din ng running mate ng dating senador na si Bongbong Marcos na walang iba kundi ang vice presidential front runner Davao City Mayor and ay Sara Duterte Carpio na ang pakikisa ng Juan Cebu si Bongbong Marcos Sara ay isang malaking hakbang tungo sa isang matagumpay na Pilipinas payag pa ni Mayor Sara na isinalin sa Filipino ay ang pagkakaisa sa Juan Cebu sa UNITEM. Ang dating senador na si Bongbong Marcos at Sara Duterte ay isa sa mga positibong senyales na aking hahawakan simula ngayong hanggang sa ating minimiting pagkapanalo na magiging matagumpay tayo sa ating mga pangarap para sa mga Filipino at para sa ating minamahal na bansang Pilipinas.
Pilipinas sa ngayon ay patuloy pa rin na namamayagpag ang naturang political tandem maging sa mga exit polls na isinasagawa sa iba't ibang bansa samantala narito naman ang naging full report patungkol sa naturang isyo na pakatamis ng oo ninyo Bongbong Marcos says after one Cebu endorsement Manila, Philippines na pakatamis ng oo ninyo getting your yes is a sweet presidential candidate Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. had days to say on Wednesday after securing the support of Juan Cebu, the largest local political party in the both rich Cebu province. Marcos and his running mate, Dabo City Mayor Enday Sara Duterte Carpio, both attended the General Assembly of Juan Cebu and Cebu City, where party President Cebu Governor Gwendolyn and Garcia formally endorsed the tandem for the 2022 polls. Governor Gwen Garcia, if you remember, at one event a few months ago, I said you, nandito kaming dalawa na Enday Sara, and I remember I said, hindi kami aalis dito hanggang narinig na namin ang iyong matamis na oo, and I can at least do that, napakatamis ng oo ninyo. Marcos said the events of today cannot be overstated the importance of the events that we have undertaken her today cannot be overstated he added Marcos said getting the support of Juan Cebu as well as the backing of the mayors of the Cebu City, Mandawi City, Lapu-Lapu City, and Talisay City gives them a better chance of winning in the election. Cebu has occupied a very special place in Philippines, life and story, and even after the capital was moved to Luzon Crescent City to Manila, Cebu Province, and Sea Ties has continued to occupy a very special place in our political lives and our economic lives in the enter Philippines, Marcos said. That is why this has been a significant, as I say, a significant day, significant development in the campaign that we are undergoing in the election in the few weeks, he added, and quote, at yun na nga mga kapanig, ano na ang masasabi mo? Comment yun na yan sa baba mga kapanig para iisa-isain ko yung babasahin at huwag nyo rin kalimutang mag-like and of course, i-share ang video na ito para mas marami pang makaalam sa makabuluang video ito. Maraming salamat!